You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. We coolin' out. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. We coolin' out. Yo, what's up, everybody? We are back. This is Coolin' Out. It's Kev. And it is Rel back. Ooh, bonus content. Oh, we got video now. We back. Finally back. back. I got a little bit of energy today. I went for a run. Mm-hmm. I was tired when I got back, but that shit they be saying about endorphins, it's real, man. Yeah. It's real. I'm in the crib like, oh, yeah. And can't do nothing. <laughs> and, that's what my, and, that, and that's what my depression sets in. <laughs> yeah, what, you got a sunny, what, you said 85 degree day down there? Uh, I think it's 87 now. Jesus. When I went for my run and almost collapsed, it was 85. And it was like beaming sun on your neck, 85, too. It's like the tale of two cities. What yeah, you, what's the like, 48? What y'all looking like? 50, I think, like mid 50s. Uh, yes. Rain all day, occasional rain, pretty much. Mm, all day. Damn. Yeah. This is add to the depression. Today's my off day. I'm just chilling. <laughs> yeah, I'm just chilling. Just got to navigate, man. I'm putting respect on Corona name. Yeah, now nah, Corona came through with a. So oh, y'all don't take me seriously. Yeah. I got a healthy respect, so I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> the crazy thing is, when I was up there that last weekend in February, when mm-hmm. I was flying back, I flew back March 1st, which was a Sunday. People, there's people at, you know, people at the airport with masks on and people were coughing and shit. And I was like, you know, ah, whatever. But I didn't really think it was going to be like, like this, like that shit. Two weeks later, it's just like, nah, shut everything down. Yeah. Like, um, uh, drinking's been on my mind. I'm ready for the <laughs> detox to be over. I'm staying strong, but it's it's gradually picked up, you know. Yeah. Picked up room in my head. So I was thinking about what the time it was, how the times were when we made, you know, we agreed to do this. And we, yeah, we were uh, coming off the weekend, simpler times. Yeah. Since so then. We, yeah, go yeah. Ahead. we agreed to go for the 30 day uh, detox, no alcohol. It was March 2nd. At that point. Yeah, I was just like, oh, yeah, March 2nd. I was like, all right, cool. Yeah, you know, it's, it's probably for the best. We went ham that weekend. No, it is you for know. the best, yeah. Yeah, it is, but I'm saying I, I, I didn't foresee this. Nah, yeah. nah, if I, 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 I didn't foresee this. <laughs> I've been like two to three weeks then, if I'd known this. Yeah, I didn't foresee this because I even like, I would say like a weekend, a weekend to the 30 days, like I had booked a flight up there. I was like, I'm coming up there April 3rd through the 5th because I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, once this, once this is over, I'm, I'm getting right back into it. And then a week after that, everything just went to hell. Yeah, nine days later, the NBA season stopped. Two yeah. weeks after that, everything got canceled. Then a couple of days after that, we supposed to stay in our houses. Oh, man. <sighs> About be that, up there next weekend. I know. Mm-mm. We said 30 days, right? Yeah. When did you start? Nah, Kevin, don't, don't, don't cut it short. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not cutting it short. It's our, I think we said... It's our deadlines that I think are wrong. Because if you started on the my, first, and I started on the no, second... I just started on the first. I started... I'm not cutting it short. Nah, I started on the... I was at work when I texted you, so I started the second, and then you started the third. Oh, okay. And that's why my and that's why mine and that's why mine ends April second, which is Thursday. Yours ends April third, which is Friday. Makes sense. Because you right. wanted to polish off that red. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I gotta <laughs> now I gotta live with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. I mean, ain't, ain't missing nothing on a Thursday night as compared to a Friday. No, I got it but wrong. We're, we were talking hella shit about these uh virtual happy hours that <laughs> that people were, were get were putting themselves in. We got invited to one. I, I, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Going back. Go back, go back. You agreed to do this on the on the March 2nd. Yeah. When you were at work. It wasn't no agreement. I told you I was, <laughs> I said, this is what I'm doing. And you said starting when? I said starting today. I already like started the day without drinking. It's Monday, April 2nd. I mean, March 2nd. So then you go in 30 days from March 1st. Which is when your last drink was, no? And I would go 30 days from March 2nd, which is when I had that red wine as we text, no? <laughs> you had red wine. 
I'm not that stressed, Kevin. I, I'm going to the second. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the second. Fair enough. I just need clarification. <laughs> I'm not meant to be cooped up. Like I said, <laughs> let uh, me go. I don't find so no, many. Hold on, <laughs> let me see. Thirty. <laughs> 30 days from March 2nd, 2020. Oh, I mean, maybe, yeah. Mine will be, I guess mine is Wednesday, April 1st. You're right. It's going to be exactly 30 days. No, no, that's cool. I'm just asking. I'm going to still stick with mine. I'm going, I'm going to the second in my mind. I already had it made up. I'm going to the second. All right, man. Clear, clear mind, clear heart. <laughs> I hear you. Till April 2nd. Now, April 3rd, we got invited to this virtual happy hour. And I mean, I'll pray for all of y'all. <laughs> you don't see some shit you ain't want to see. <laughs> uh, how you biding yeah. your time, though, in general? Uh, work, honestly. Like, I've never given myself, given, my, uh, given myself so much to work. I mean, like, obviously, like, I work hard, but, like, I've been, like, on on top of it like every email that comes in i'm like responding now like i just have time like so i work uh exercising working out in the house going for runs and then outside of that just like trying to randomly watch old basketball games and try to watch shows honestly or i started reading a book yesterday um yeah man that's really it i don't know if i'm <laughs> i don't know yeah I, like so now we're in the house. I know you guys are in the house indefinitely. We're in the house now until the end of April here in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And that just feels like a lot. Like that's a whole month just gone. Yeah. Done. <laughs> I feel like I'm in prison. It is surreal. You can still go out. Go order, order in. Yeah. Order from that go fancy for restaurant. Ex so you go out for exercise, right? And then what is that? That's just that's just time on the yard. That's all they're giving us is time <laughs> on the yard. Even, 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 even they get uh they get they get uh what's it called recreation time. They get recreation time, and that's <laughs> that's what I feel like I'm getting right now. <laughs> just recreation time. My time out on the yard. All right, oh, you can run, you can run, but don't run too don't run too far. Don't mm -hmm. run too close to anybody. Keep your distance, and then come back to the crib. Mm. No, nah, yeah, I agree. How, how, uh, how's your time passing? A lot of work, like you said. What, yeah. From the time I get up, I just clock in, and then <laughs> I sit in my office slash kitchen, <laughs> and yep. I just work away. Recently, I started Thursday. After our combo on Wednesday, I just got it in my head. I got up, because I'm up early. I have so much energy mm -hmm. now. I'm up usually around 7. Thursday I got up like quarter to seven. I was like, let me just go go for a run. Streets hardly anybody out. And yeah, I just went for a run Thursday, Friday. Started doing that. Uh started reading again, picked up a book, a Michael Glad Malcolm Gladwell book. I had um left unfinished, started meditating again heavy. Uh journaling now. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not meant to be cooped up. Remember when people would be like, yeah, I'm going to go home and binge this <laughs> yeah. for the weekend? No. <laughs> <laughs> Never Yo. for me. No. This is not natural. <laughs> this, this, is, this has been quite an adjustment. But at the same yeah. time, I'm not going to wander the streets aimlessly. Like, I got a lot of respect <laughs> for this. Open. And I got respect for this virus. I'm not trying to get sick if I don't need to be out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, I'm going to just stay in today and... You still got to break your days up. So that's why today I'm like, I thought about doing work, but I'm like, nah, every single day can't be the same. I'm going to go crazy. Mm -hmm. So I just gave myself a break. Just been reading so far. What I did, made a coffee smoothie and now we pot. <laughs> but yeah, I try to, yeah, you got to break it up. That's what I realized because if not, then be working every single day. So like tomorrow, I, I don't work on Sunday. That's like my day where I'm like, all right, I'm not doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Like I did. A little bit of work this morning. I'm gonna do a little bit, a little bit more work after we finish recording. Um, yeah, man, and that's really it. But I mean, I feel. I mean, I hate to put this on video, but I feel bad for my employer. Once freedom hits, <laughs> they getting maximum productivity out of me right now. 
this is peak. This is rolling well his prom. Like I'm out here. No, first of all, no alcohol. I'm exercising nonstop. Mm-hmm. And I'm doing this work, and I'm giving you all my time. I don't know if you're gonna get that <laughs> when, I, when I'm free. Got to achieve balance. <laughs> <laughs> we got a whack like, right I'm, now. I'm gonna show my numbers from April <laughs> compared to Bam. Like, look, on a, on balance, I'm an average employee. I'm good. <laughs> like. It's the home stretch. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, yo, I'm really hoping that, like, in my mind, I've been saying like June, just, just for sanity purposes. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping like by June, like things just start opening up. I mean, for you, it could. It's really where I'm, yeah. where I'm at, and the, you know, the Cali's of the world, and yeah, I, I, yeah, all the places that I would love to be, like, it ain't, like. Yeah. It's like, I mean, it's cool. I mean, obviously, it's going to be nice when the bars open up here as well, but, like, that's going to be cool. But I, I, might, I might appreciate them a little bit more now Now that they're gone. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be tipping like a motherfucker. Missed you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a wake up. I was texting with a friend yesterday, and he thinks we'll be quarantined until May, which I feel is ambitious. That's like very might, ambitious. I feel like that's ambitious. But Well... It depends on, on, the, on the severity of the quarantine because uh, actually just an hour ago, Trump was giving a speech at uh, Norfolk, Virginia at the Naval base. And he was considering uh, quarantine putting yeah. Yeah, New York, New Jersey and parts of Connecticut on, under a 14 day like strict quarantine. So if that, if that you know. Enforceable, in right? Place, so what is that? Yeah. You can't leave the house so, under no conditions? I have no idea because I also watched a press conference with uh, Governor Cuomo and he was like, he, that was the first time he heard of it and that he had no idea how, what the legality of it was and how, how exactly, how strict or enforceable it could be. Mm-hmm. Um, but the way Trump made it seem was like on some like India type shit, like you can't even be in the streets. That's going to be a problem. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, if I can't even get groceries, that's going to be an issue. I, I, I can't get yo, takeout or delivery. <laughs> I'm not laughing, but yo. <laughs> but I get it. I get it. The sadness that just came over your face. But, but now imagine this, though. Imagine this, imagine this, imagine this, imagine this. Imagine if, like, you do have to be locked in for 14 days straight, right? But... I'm assuming they would tell people in advance before it happens, so people can go out and get groceries, all that stuff, whatever, whatever. But after that 14 days, like the curve, like takes takes a stark, you know, drop. No, no, like no I'm, I'm it, with you. I, I th- yeah. it's a, sh- it's a short-term if, misery, but long-term. It's yeah, it's, and if they think that it's going to help in the long term, so that you guys could be free by May, then yeah. no, yeah, definitely. But I'm letting you know right now. That I got to live. I've been watching. <laughs> I've been following New York. I've been following New York New York coverage more than I've been following North Carolina coverage. And the first weekend that they tell, I don't go fuck how much it costs. If they even announce that shit's reopening, I'm up there. I, I'm up. I don't know what kind of man I'm gonna be by the time that happens. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know. I've been hitting up everybody, checking in on loved ones. I don't even know. I ain't shaved. Just what a time, yeah. man! What when a that time. when we when that freedom hits, whew, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a different time. Mm-hmm. I can't wait for it though. I think it's you know I feel like we we're, we were just talking about calming down too. Then life through the biggest curveball. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't make plans. Cause shit changes. You're right. You're right. You're <laughs> I was right. so serious too. I was like, nah, man, you know, getting up about to hit 30. You probably chill out, leave the streets alone. <sighs> then they, <laughs> and then, then they took them away. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> they forced us out the streets. Now I'm like, oh no, this ain't my life. I can't do this. Yeah, I'm rebellious. I can't live yeah, like now this. I'm like, all right, cool. Nah, nah, nah. Soon as soon as shit open, it's a wrap. Yeah. It's a wrap. I might be that nigga, uh, that dude down here just at the bar by myself now. <laughs> Chatting it's with randoms. bartenders. And, yeah. yeah. Chatting with Knowing the locals. Every, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when'd you move here? I just moved here. Just start random conversations. I mean, Mm-mm-mm. when New York back open and I'm going to be hearing some crazy stories when I'm out. <laughs> Bro. 
you know when you open back up, it's going to be some the camaraderie. Whoo! <laughs> but hey, it's going to be nuts. Len. Until then, I mean, a lot of ambitious goals. So we're talking. Uh, I think this this past pod episode about uh, the NBA and their plans to resume the season, and they seem adamant. They seem like really like pushing for this May. I don't know if it's going to be May, but I, I'm more confident than ever now. We definitely going to get more basketball. Yeah, like yeah, at yeah. Least by they seem June. I don't know. It's, that this season won't be lost completely. They seem adamant to finish the season. Like the more and more, they really seem. Actually, I can't say that because this virus is still unknown, kind of. But they seem to be doing all they can. I don't know about May still. That still seems too yeah, ambitious nah. to me. May seems very ambitious. But yeah, June, um, July. Yeah. Hopefully, that's, and that's an, and that's another thing. You couple that with sports coming back over the summer. Oh my God. Anyway. <laughs> Well, but, on, on the subject of, um, Braun made his own first public comments about that, about the season. Mm-hmm. Did you see those? Mm-hmm. You did? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. About how, what, what do you about, think about his suggestion? Uh, about, you know, uh, exactly about, he said five, that he, uh, I think Braun, a one to two week training camp. And then I think he said five to 10 games and then going to playoffs. I'm down. I'm, I'm down for that. How many games do they have? Like 22? Yeah, I feel like they were. I think I think teams are between nineteen and twenty. Yeah, like nineteen yeah. to twenty, nineteen to twenty-two games somewhere in that range left for each team. Mm-hmm. I'd be down for that. I mean, honestly, like a one to two week training camp will be good also because just players need to get back in shape. Yeah, um, players gonna need to get back in shape. They need to get back into the like, the some. rhythm. Yeah, some play the four eighty two and they don't be in shape. So yeah, now you take nice get back. Yeah. They can't work like, out. A lot of them don't have gyms in their houses. Exactly. So yeah. when that's when they get back in shape first, get that camaraderie back, get get like five to ten games under their feet, get into the playoffs. Yeah. Um was it was it Woj yesterday that said that they were considering like uh all like just playing in one like outdoor arena type thing? Like all the games or something like that? Like they're trying to outdoor follow arena? Like they're trying to like follow uh because the chinese basketball association has been trying to like get their league started back up since february and they keep pushing the date further and further out like they're supposed to start april 1st and then they got pushed back to april 15th and uh one of the things that NBA, NBA is considering is like following their lead and trying to see like where the mistakes that they made and trying to start the league back up and things of that nature and one of the things that they said is that um nba might have like a kind of like a march madness type deal where like all the players are like all in one city and they all just play in one like arena and they're not sure if like playing in, indoors inside of arena would even be safe so they might end up like playing somewhere outside or some shit i don't know it's just like just things that were just tossed out there like ideas did he mention testing protocols <clears throat> no nothing, nothing that's interesting just... it's gonna yeah. be very interesting to see how it does come back yeah because there's so it's many good. variables I feel too many, but if it was like all the players in one place, it'd be in some some place very remote though, like a North Dakota, South Dakota, mm-hmm. some random spot where like I think North Dakota, South Dakota have like three cases total. <laughs> so it'd be in like some spot like that. And the NBA come ruin that. Spike. Oh, facts. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. God forbid. God forbid. Let me not. Chill, chill. Chill. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But um, yeah. So that was their like. Uh, that's the latest proposal to get the league started back up. But I agree with with Bron's suggestion. But I mean, it's, I mean, we gotta do the best we can do. I mean, as as much as it, I, it would suck watching a game without fans, it's because like I like hearing the background noise. I'm sure the players appreciate it too, and not necessarily us being able to hear every single word the players are saying on the court, which is going to be unique. Yeah. Um <clears throat> Hit that mute but button. I'd be down. Oh, no, I'm yeah, resigned yeah. to that. I'm resigned to not having. Like, in my mind, whenever we talk about this, I don't envision fans, like, for the yeah. rest of the season. If we had fat, like, that would be surprising in itself. Like, I already let go yeah. of that thought about having fans at the game. But yeah. you got to pick and choose if the motivating factors, you know, to recoup some of this revenue and finish the season. 
and you know can't have everything yeah man because I... I was reading between this and the china situation like they could be facing like almost a billion in in revenue loss and oof. imagine the ramifications that, short term cap gonna be yeah, like. yeah exactly i was just gonna say yeah because the projected i think was 116 so that's definitely dropped yeah and then who knows how it's gonna affect teams things you're not even thinking about now but yeah it's tough. It's tough to navigate. I was just list- I was just watching the. Um, I was reading about WWE mm-hmm. and how they're um because they've been stationed down in Orlando, mm-hmm. and I can only imagine. Obviously, their biggest event is coming up, and it's their super card. It's like a five hour card usually. So you're talking about mm-hmm. between the participants and the production crew. God knows hundreds of people that need to. And even with the strictest protocols, you just. One person gets sick. Yeah, you, know? you don't know. Who, you don't know who everyone's interacting. It's not like yeah. you're sleeping there. Um, and then yesterday, I don't know if I sent this to you, but uh, so Roman Reigns. Well, there's like a, a deeper story behind Roman Reigns. It's like on one of those like wrestling blogs or whatever like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, so Roman Reigns, you know, he uh, I guess stepped out of the not was not stepped out. It's not a good word. He uh, backed out. Well, backed out. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, that's the word. Yeah, he backed out of wrestling. <laughs> Uh, at WrestleMania for WWE Championship against uh, Goldberg, whatever, right? And the yeah. reason, granted, he had leukemia, so he has like a weaker immune system, mm-hmm. but it wasn't just that. Like, he's supposedly like the Miz is sick. Mm. And uh, so he's uh, backing out. Of, he's supposed to have a tag team match or something like that. Mm-hmm. And he's uh, supposed to go and get off the card. And there were like two other people who names I, I'm not familiar with who were th- also I... feeling under the weather. Yeah, I think I read Ray Mysterio was in quarantine. But they yes, taped everything. Yes, exactly, yes. So yeah, yeah. Know. Okay. And Ray Mysterio's in quarantine. Yeah, so it's like all pre-taped. But, like, I, I, I was watching uh, SmackDown, like, for a little uh, yesterday. And I was like, it's just, I, I, it's just weird. Like, it's weird. Like, they're still trying to, like, record interactions with people when there's no one in the crowd. So, like, who are you interacting with? Yeah. I wonder what having these shows has done for their... Uh, Obviously, they're losing revenue, obviously. But I don't even know what the money coming in from these shows. I don't even know. Because they're not getting anything at the gate. So, actually, no. Yeah, Fox already paid them for the deal. So Yeah, but that's, that's just tough. TV money. Yeah, that's they're what I'm not saying. Getting, yeah. They're not getting nothing at the gate. You're not getting the merch people buy at the gate. None of that stuff. Damn. Damn, man. I feel bad for Vince. He already had to cancel his uh, XFL season. Yeah, I was reading. He was. I was reading a lot of wrestlers were hoping that it got postponed, and that pretty much he was the driving force that wanted to keep going. We'll see. We'll see that next week. Me. What he pushed forward for? Because <laughs> when is isn't it supposed to be this or is it next Sunday? Next Saturday and Sunday. It's next two Saturday. nights. They split it. Oh. Mm-hmm. They just got the whole weekend to themselves. They're trying to show out. Hey, thank you. we need as much content as possible. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, yeah. We might we might give y'all a full WrestleMania episode. Like this is what this is what it's come to. <laughs> Previewing the card. <laughs> <laughs> break break it down match by match. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be glued. I need yeah, I'm be, I'm be on the couch like this. Yep. All five hours or whatever it is, Saturday and Sunday. I just need something, man. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, man. And then all this uh, NFL news is just dying down. Well, yeah, but not without Goodell stepping in. You know, he had to make his presence no. <laughs> with Big the draft. Goodell. And he, nah, he ain't moving the date. Nope. And you better not criticize me. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta respect. Yo, was it April twenty third through the twenty fifth? I believe so. So how, do, how are they going to do it? Because <clears throat> it's not going to uh, go on as planned. It's going to go on a schedule, but obviously since they can't all convene, what? Just... Yeah, I think it, I think they're going to do like the draft. They, the um, the players are going to be, you know, I guess alerted virtually. Oh, okay. And then all the teams are going to ha- are going to convene, and their training camp facilities, but only with limited staff. So I'm assuming it's going to be less than 10 people gathering, whatever. Um, 
it's gonna be all virtually, I'm assuming. They still have to, they still want to broadcast something because they have contracts with ESPN and stuff like that. And they want to, you know, withhold their end of the bargain, I guess. I don't even blame them. I, I know it's, you know, it's popular to blame I don't know. Them. I don't blame them. But I've seen them getting criticized, but if you can't look at me and tell me con- concretely that we can reschedule this at such date and then, because the presumption is by September, by Labor Day weekend, this would at least be contained to the point that we can have NFL games. So with mm-hmm. that being said, if you got to have, you can't tell me concretely, like, you can have the draft in like May or June. So if you can't do that, I- I'm not going to, I'm not going to postpone it. Cause then who yeah, knows when it, you can pick it back up. Exactly. And if I'm doing everything virtually within the guidelines and the, you know, and mm-hmm. the, the current guidelines, then what's the issue? I mean, honestly, like, unless people are not doing their jobs outside. <laughs> like, well, that's there. Yeah. But outside of like day one of the draft, most people don't even watch day two and three regardless. And most of the people, most of the, uh, the potential draft draftees don't even show up like, you know, uh, to the draft. Mm-hmm. So it's really just, it only really affects like the first and second round picks who normally like show up and like our front and center and all that stuff. And, you know, get like, get their names out there on ESPN and all that stuff. But I mean, they're still going to have like ESPN coverage. They're still going to have like, you know, the five football analysts just probably further spaced out. And they're still going to be talking and going through all their videos and showing her the highlights of all the players. And, and now more than ever, Goodell probably wants to have it because he'll have everyone's attention. Yeah. Like, everyone's... I'm going to watch the draft, and normally I don't even care. Like, no. But you know what? Not. I'm watching <laughs> it. I'm watching it. You know what? I'm going to have all my attention. I don't I need care that content. much. Still not. All right, Ken, we'll see, we'll, see, we'll see how you feel April 23rd. I'm telling you. I've never watched... We'll I don't see. care about the draft at all. All right. All right. I'm telling you. What, what's today's date? What is this? March, March 28th. 28th. Right, I'm, I'm gonna go back and reference you. this and reference this episode. I'm telling you. <laughs> when you start just throwing up random defensive tackles names that you saw get drafted, I'm like, all right, cool. You watched it. <laughs> well, no, he was oh he's a, he's an offensive lineman from Purdue. I can't wait to <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> How many people oh, are gathering per team to do the draft? Uh, do you know? I, no, I have no idea, but I presume it. They, they they just said limited, but just be based on the CDC guidelines and what most of the states are regulating. I'm sure it's going to be less than ten. And a lot of the GMs are complaining because you see their boardrooms. So most of the time it's like twenty twenty five people, and they like to have all like their mm-hmm. uh, anal- analytics guys and all these people up in there to help them make you know the best decision possible. So now it's like you better just only have the best of the best in there, and you know. Yeah, you I grew up in them in that regard, but yeah, sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. You gotta yeah. be able to. No, you gotta, you gotta be able to adapt and do your job. Like if you make a, a, a incorrect draft choice, yeah, good luck. Because one dude, was, one or two people yeah. weren't in the room. Come on. Yeah. Well, it's, well, it's not just that. It's also because they can't they can't do workouts, so they can't like get to That's see these players in, in, in person. All they get to see is, is the tape. That's very fair, but nobody yeah. wanted this. We all got it. No adjust. one. <laughs> no one. Given these circumstances. And you everybody's working under the, yeah, everybody's working under the same condition. So beloved, you're making millions of dollars. Figure it out. Meaning like these GMs and stuff. Figure it out. Yeah, come on. You know, yeah. I ain't crying for them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Speaking of oh, got, what's up? The NBA, NBA front office people cutting their salaries. I I was shocked. Yeah? What what do they do it as a show of what? Solidarity? What? Uh, it's good PR. Oh, I guess. All right, no, it it's makes sense. PR. It's good PR, and also, they they did it at, at the right time because they did it right after the Philadelphia 76ers tried to pull <laughs> tried to pull their little stunt, and then they back and then they backtracked on that. Um, what oh, within roughly. five hours or so, yeah. couple of hours, and like and they they say it was clear that we made a mistake. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> backtrack. And then now the NBA is coming out saying that its executives are, you know, taking pay cuts. And I think that's that's why they're so adamant about trying to um, continue the season and try to get it back up as quickly as possible. The, the, the crazy thing is, I read a tweet. I don't know who exactly tweeted it, uh, but I'm going to try to paraphrase it to the best of my ability. But essentially it was like saying, like, corporations – uh, like everyone's just living paycheck to paycheck, right? 
Like mm-hmm. corporations are living paycheck to paycheck because as soon as like the, the world halts for a month, all of a sudden everyone's fucking broke. Yeah. Like where's all this yeah. money? Like, these, yeah. are, these are multi-billion dollar companies and now all of a sudden y'all ain't got no bread. Like y'all, mm-hmm. y'all operate, you're talking about like, you know, small businesses opposite on like, you know, very small deficits. Like, you know, apparently these large corporations are as well. Yeah. Yeah. Like, as soon as <laughs> shit stopped for a month, you, you can't eat no more? Yeah, you see how many people really... <laughs> don't really have liquid cash on hand. Yeah. It's like, it's crazy. Like all these airlines and granted, yes, it's, it's a big deal that, you know, you guys are just shutting down, but like these are multi-billion dollar companies mm-hmm. and like, how much debt do you have? Like, you know, cause as soon as shit stops for a month, all of a sudden everyone needs all this money out of nowhere mm-hmm. and no one can, no one can operate. No one can function. So this is a very interesting tweet. I just wanted to share that, but no, I agree. It's eye opening. <laughs> it really yeah. is. Uh, but yeah, so the NBA, the, the executives, I think it was the top 100 executives mm-hmm. Cut taking 20%. 20%. Yeah. I don't know, that's a lot of money. It is. Because what, Adam Silver's making 20 mil? I thought he was making 10. Golly. Nah, chill, beloved. Don't, 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 chill. My bad. Ten. Right. This is, disrespect my boy like that. My bad, my bad. Let me verify that. But even let's say he's making 20 mil, that's $4 million gone. I mean, you're still making 16, but like... And that's it at the end of the day. Yeah. And, and I, that's just where I land in these in these days and uh, times, when you're already making just an exorbitant amount. Oh, no, you're right. He is making 10. Where did I get that, that from? Maybe I was thinking about Goodell, who make like 45. Jesus. Now, yeah, you, you ain't heard a peep about it. <laughs> Oh man. Yo, get that way, even mentioned it. Wait, Roger give it up. <laughs> Got gotta respect how no, he cr- moving. <laughs> Don't criticize the Bible. Yep. Don't even hit Here my it. line about it. Pay yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even mention a pay cut. Oh, that is hilarious. Oh my god. Yeah. So silver making ten, so minus twenty percent making eight. I mean Obviously, like from my from our point of view, you can't feel bad for the boy. But if it was me, I ain't gonna lie. That, <sighs> shit, that a minus two million dollars is still minus two million. No, I agree. If I was him, but from my point of view, like, all right, cool, live your life. Yeah. You still gonna eat? You still gonna feed your kids? Yeah, that's just what I I focus on more and more, just point of view and perspective, and mm. and the grant. Yeah, I don't pocket watch. I don't begrudge people that get get your money. But in these days and times, like even with myself, I find if my if I'm good, still got money coming in, still got some savings, and my biggest concern is getting my wine here. I'm not gonna complain about that. There's some people, <laughs> you know, there's some people really suffering. So, because like when I listen to these podcasts of like no millionaires, it's yeah. just I get we I get it. Most of us are confined to the house, but again, like. When you can find to your palatial estate, you gotta yeah, know how that yeah, reflects yeah. on like your listeners yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff. So I it's stuck in a thirteen bedroom house talking about <laughs> so we gonna get through this. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> With your tone deaf ass, no. <laughs> Word, you could do a 5K if you ran the compound yeah. once. And you, you talk yeah. about <laughs> <laughs> We gotta get through Yo, this. <laughs> that, fuck out of here. Yeah. It's, uh, and they and they home gym talking about it's gonna be okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I wanna hear that shit. Oh, God, that is too funny, yo. Uh. <laughs> we gonna make it through. <laughs> <laughs> no, my God. Oh, man. Yeah, but this is <laughs> fucking up everyone's life. Yeah. <sighs> Without question. Without question. A little shit you know, mm-hmm. passes on through. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't want to keep dwelling on it, though, because it just makes me sad. I still got another, at least another month in the crib. Mm. When's April 1st? Is it Wednesday? <laughs> Today's the twenty eighth. Nah, it's Thursday. No, it is Wednesday. It is. I'm bugging. It is Wednesday. 
Uh, see, I don't even really feel like my prison sentence starts till then. Because yeah. so April's already, April's a lost month now. So it's like, all right, well, once we get into April, then I can really, like, start, you know, looking towards the end and seeing what's going to happen. But I mean, at least we get distractions coming back because... What we got? Alcohol. <laughs> oh, <laughs> So that's all we got. Remember, we've been going through this different than than most. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. We've been going through this sober. So who knows? It might be. So who knows how it's been hitting others? Yeah, I uh, might keep a bottle of wine bedside. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of those. Uh, right on the nightstand. I don't know what, how else to do this. <laughs> I missed you. It's been it's been, it's been a long time. <laughs> It's been a long time. Oh man. What about uh, what about content wise? You picked up anything? Shows? Um, movies? Um, anything? Movies? No. Shows. I started. Uh, I started watching Luther, which mm-hmm. is uh like the he just Elba's like London show. He's like a police detective. So I watched season one uh, a minute ago, and um, completely forgot about it. Souls on Prime Video. So picked up like I mean. Part, I think they are parts. I'm in like season three, I guess. But they're, they're very short. It's only like four episodes for each season. So I'm going to run through that. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to start watching Hunters, which you told me about. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> then when I'm done with that, I'm going to start watching Zero, Zero, Zero. It's good. It's good. Uh, yeah. I heard. <laughs> so I got that. And then after that, I have to reassess. But those are like my, my current, the current lineup of shows I'm watching. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And then I started reading this book yesterday. Um called broke let me tell you exactly the name of it um but essentially it's like investing for millennials mm-hmm. <clears throat> it's called broke millennial takes on investing it's by this woman called erin lowry i only read the first two chapters but pretty good uh essentially just talks about <clears throat> like you know how how the average millennial doesn't have much saved and all that stuff and um and how to you know kind of turn turn around your financial future even if you don't have if you have limited access to funds or things of that nature what's it called broke 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 millennial takes on investing okay yeah it should be in the library app yeah Uh, but yeah so that i I started reading that i mean i'm just trying to like but i will say though this time is like giving me some time to like uh put my priorities in order Mm -hmm. so I am saving a shit ton of money, but like, <laughs> this on the top. <laughs> Same. Even my judgment's been better. <laughs> yeah. No impulse and buying. Then, I'm not really ordering out as much yeah. as I did. That's the thing. Like, I, like, we barely eat out. Like, we go grocery shopping. And, like, it's easier to go grocery shopping down here. Mm-hmm. Um, But, like, we really weren't taking advantage of that. Like, now it's like, we go grocery shopping. Like, we actually been cooking and eating in the crib and all that stuff. And I'm like, yo, all right, cool. I'm saving bread. Mm-hmm. Um. But I'm just saving it for the summertime. Um, yeah. Put it in a, in a, in a separate fund. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give it back to the streets anyway, so. <laughs> That's your uh, donation. I get it. Yeah, I hey, man. I'm trying to give it back to the restaurant workers. <clears throat> I feel you. Uh, hey, what about you? What you been on content-wise? I just finished Zero 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 on Amazon. Mm-hmm. Really mm-hmm. good. Eight episodes in our reach. Really good. Um... I started watching Curve Your Enthusiasm, but I just started in the most recent season. It's mm-hmm. funny, so I might go back, but it's like ten other nine seasons prior. So I'm you got a, nothing but time. That's what I'm saying, and I'm enjoying the <laughs> season. And it's not really a show you need continuity. It's like a yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like in the Seinfeld mode. So and it's funny. Gotcha, gotcha. gotcha, gotcha. Um, FX has a bunch because since the um, the Disney deal and they acquired some of FX. I mean, Hulu, mm-hmm. Hulu and FX are in conjunction. So they have like a bunch of shows I watch on, on a weekly basis, not really binging. So they have mm-hmm. a show called Devs uh, and Better Things and another one called Breeders. That's pretty good. Gotcha. So I'm just watching those on a weekly <clears throat> basis. Ozark just came back. So I'm definitely going to pick yep. it up soon. Um, books. I mentioned I picked back up the uh, Malcolm Gladwell book, um, Talking to Strangers. Which is really good. It's a, yeah, it's a book I had started in, um, I think, last fall. But then I got gifted the book for Christmas. 
but I knew I was going to get it. So I stopped and put it, I stopped and put my library edition down and returned it. And then I just picked it back up now, which is, it's a really good book. I don't know if you ever read any of his stuff. Like I read like outliers, but now I'm looking for it now. His take is like basically how a lack of clear communication can result in different things. Like he talks about, for example, uh, Bernie Madoff Ponzi scheme, how Bernie Madoff could rip off so many people despite the clear evidence in people's faces of what he was doing and how basically you can never really tell based on your gut assumption, somebody's intention. It's, it's a loose definition, but it's really interesting. It's really good. So I just started that and cause I default more to, if I can hold a book, I'd, I re, I'd rather that than reading from a device. So I'm gonna finish that and then get to all my virtual books. But that's what I'm on now. So I'm on now. Probably pick that up when we're done. Sure. Yeah. My library got a six week hold on it. So I read it in yeah. six weeks. <laughs> yeah. It's good. It's good. It's really good. And imagine I'm in fifty I'm in uh fifty first place in line. <laughs> <laughs> so it must be popular. Yeah. Uh yeah. I'm gonna probably dust this book off. It's only like three hundred pages. I'm probably gonna dust that off sometime. Mm -hmm. before before the week starts honestly probably tomorrow i'll just like sit down and dust that off yeah i'm gonna just use today and tomorrow because work just takes up so much of the week and then when i'm done yeah yeah and there's no way how i'm reading a book mm -hmm. monday through yeah. friday no nah, miss me with that mm -hmm. i wouldn't even normally read a book saturday, saturday and sunday yeah, but who you telling man <laughs> <laughs> <I'm out> priorities <laughs> oh man all right, did we hit it all? I think we hit it all. Yeah, hit it all, man. Um, <sighs> for you to listen to these albums. Yeah, I'm gonna get to them. Actually, I got I got some time now. Listen to the J Electronica and the Weekend album. I'll get to it. Weekend album's good. Jay Z's yeah, really good you. on the J Electronica album. J Electronica, <laughs> J, -Le J -Le is good too, but Jay Z's really good. He <laughs> put J Electronica. <laughs> Slash Jay Z album in the nose. I was like, Jay Z came out with another album. He was like, he bought as well. Huh? No, he he has unofficial credits on pretty much every song that's a song. He he's on it. Yeah. Like you can't see it from the track list, but he's on pretty much every single song. It's pretty much a duet album. <laughs> All right, I'll take a listen. Actually, I'm gonna go for. I'll, I'll put on uh, weekend tomorrow in the morning. I go for my run. That'll probably be the easiest time to just like listen to some straight through. Now, I don't know if you're gonna hear that heartbreak for your to to pump you. Oh, so it's it's depressing. It's weekend. <laughs> yeah. Nah. Uh, not nah, what's, what's the album came out when? Yeah. Nah. You right. Oh, shit is the perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was pretty uplifting. All right, man. Give it a go. <laughs> Don't let me. Be the album man. before that about drugs. <laughs> 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 Trying to get my heart racing. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. All right, people. As always, thank you for the love and support. Make sure you uh, rate, share, subscribe. Check us out at coolingoutpod.com. Again, coolingoutpod.com. Uh, podcast episodes are available on Google Play, Stitcher, or Cast, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, yep. SoundCloud, Spotify, TuneIn, everywhere podcasts are available. We are there. We got the video back up, as you guys can see. So we'll have mm -hmm. these full-length uh, video clips up on uh, YouTube, and we're going to break them up, put them on IGTV, all that good stuff. They'll be everywhere. There'll be content galore. We're going to keep busting out all these, all these bonus episodes because we ain't got nothing else to do. So we'll give Bottom you more content. Word. Yeah. More for you. So until next time, this is Cooling Out. Stay cool. You cool? I'm cool. You cool? I'm cool. You cool? I'm cool. We cooling out. You cool? I'm cool. You cool? I'm cool. You cool? I'm cool. We cooling out.